All right, today we are tier ranking zoo animals. And I'm going off of based on seeing them in the zoo. Which ones am I most excited to see? Categories being, which ones am I beelining for? As soon as I get into the zoo, where am I directly going to? Where am I looking? Hey, where the fuck is this one? What are those ones? Next category, need to see. Maybe I don't need to see them up front, but I cannot leave without seeing them. Next tier, this is the middle tier. This is the cool to see. This is, you walk past the exhibit on the way to some of the other categories that I said. You kind of, you stop, you look, you admire, you move on. The don't care to tease. These are like, you walk past, you probably glancing, but you keep moving. You're like, cool, that's over there. Anyways, I'm not stopping to see this. I'm not like, I'm not outwardly looking for this. And then the final category is avoid. Um, I don't know. There's no like. Spy- spiders would be the only thing I would outwardly really genuinely avoid, but this category is really just going to be like a, I can see that outside. Like I can, if I if I walk, if I'm driving my car in certain parts, or if I you know take a certain route out here, go on a trail, go on a quick hike, I might see that. Hell, one of these I could see right now. I was just driving around a neighborhood. Neighborhood had these all over the place, so not worried too much. You know, not 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 doing anything with these ones at the zoo. Because they're out there, easily spotable in my area. Uh, but let's just get right into it. Starting with the hippos. Uh, this one is definitely a need to see. Uh, one of the more deadlier creatures. Uh, some people, this used to be a, a surprising fact. I think this has kind of made the rounds. Everyone knows hippos are killers like this. But like for, for a while, it was like you just kind of see them as these lazy, fat creatures. Especially because any time in animated media they used a hippo, that's probably the... the the persona that that character had, but these things are massive beast, huge bite, bite force, can straight murder. Um, and one of the things that's in zoos that's going to draw me towards it is like some of these. It's like if I saw them in the wild, I could approach. So I'm not overly like worried about it about seeing them. Um, but the draw to the zoo to me at times is like if I got close to that thing in real life. I'd be, I would probably die, or I would be at a huge risk of death. Like, one of the things about a zoo is like I can see animals that I probably shouldn't be close to at all, and I can see them, view them safely. Uh, let me see. Are there other monkeys? Do I need to be specific? Okay, I could, see, I see orangutans, orangutans, lemurs are something different. Okay, okay. So th- I mean, so there's two different types of monkeys here. Um, I'll be honest, I don't know monkeys like that. So this is just Rafiki. I don't I don't know what the Rafiki monkeys are. This would be See there's two. If they just if it was monkeys in general, they would go bee lining. I think you you if you go to a zoo, you gotta see monkeys monkeying around. These are the ones that you can kind of sit down and like watch the most. So let's just put both in bee lining for. Uh, but to me, I wish it was one category because outside of being a monkey, like I, I don't know differences too well. But monkeys, because you can, that's the animals that we see the most of ourselves in. Uh, physically, yeah, a lot of overlap, but also just almost personality wise, almost how they carry themselves and the type of social interactions they have. Um, so, yeah, definitely beelining to see monkeys any single time I'm there. Okay, snakes. Again, I don't think they're being too specific here. So we just have snakes in general. T- to me, these are going to be don't care to see. I've seen them at before at zoos and like different habitats. Um, if they're eating, maybe it could be cool. But most of the time, they're just kind of laying there, not doing much. Uh, so I don't really care to see them, in all honesty. Uh, lions. Lions are a need to see. Um some of the need to sees are going to be staple ones that you think maybe should be beelining for, but at this point, like, I've seen them. So I've seen them enough times at zoos. I haven't gone to like too many zoos, but like you go to like I've, I've you know been a handful of times. You get you get it. You get the gist. And, and so some staple animals are going to go and need to see where it's like you got to see them. You got to check them out. It's a checklist. You, this you do need to see these, but you know you've seen them enough. They're covered enough in other media as well, so it's like. Visually, you just you see lions all the time, so they're just going to go in and need to see peacocks. Uh, this is what I was talking about. I was driving around a neighborhood, and the neighborhood just like in people's yards, peacocks are everywhere. Like peacocks is just like yeah, it's a cool, colorful bird. What else? Like I've 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 
been able to see these not in a zoo, just out in the wild, like just normal fucking suburban life here. Uh, I've seen peacocks before, up close. Platypus. There's a specific cartoon that has raised the um, public opinion of platypuses, and it's worked on me as well. I, I would I would be beelining to see a platypus. Um, Perry has become the mascot for this species, rightfully so. I'm, be, I'm beelining to see a platypus. It's also one of the most unique animals in terms of it's showing characteristics of different like um, classifications of animals. Um, I'd be beelining to see a platypus. This just looks like a deer. The same thing. Like we've all almost hit deers in our cars. Like we all have just been driving and just seeing deers before. Uh, I'm avoiding. No, no need to see them. Elephants. I think I got to go with need to see. Um, again, it's just. Staple animal, you've seen it, it's covered a lot. You need to see it when you go to a zoo still, because they are that cool and they are that interesting. But ultimately, like what what am I what new experience am I gonna get out of going to see one? Water buffalo. So this is one that I haven't really seen too much at zoos, but it still just ultimately is gonna fall in like a cool to see. Um I feel like the I've only ever seen these things in like when they're just talking, when movies are just discussing African wildlife as a whole, or we're watching like a zebra or like like a cheetah documentary, or something, and we're just seeing this motherfucker die. Like this is this is the cannon fodder of all of these animals. Like this is cannon fodder right here. These motherfuckers are just known for dying from anything that I've seen. Foxes. Foxes are cool, man. Are they beelining for cool? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say they're need to see, though. I mean, yeah, I think I'm ultimately going to go land in with that they, they are still needed to be seen. Um, cute, interesting color for an animal like that. It's, your brain is almost like, it's kind of like a dog. It's kind of like a cat. I could probably be friends with it. Don't try that. Don't try that. Fox and the Hound, I mean... Great PR team, even though you maybe shouldn't approach it in real life. Like, great PR team. It's I feel like it's it's more positively portrayed than anything else. I think Robin Hood in the Furry Awakening movie is a fucking, is a fox in there. Uh, great PR team would need to see it. Polar bears. Are they still, are polar bears, I heard ice was reforming up there, and maybe polar bears are having a better time. I hope they're having a better time. Um, but ultimately... Like, you're not going to really see it be the apex predator that it is. Like, you're not going to see a polar bear do it the most interesting and craziest and terrifying things it can do in a zoo. See, that's another thing. For some of these animals, we're getting the nerfed versions of. Like, I'm not seeing a lion properly be a lion. Elephants, maybe. Hippos, maybe. But, like, these top apex predators, where you want to see them, like, like, the draw and what makes them interesting is how dangerous they are like you're not getting that at a zoo so i think ultimately i'm going to put it in a need to see uh camel i'm going to put don't care to see just because i've been to a camel farm and that is the most much better experience excuse me experience to see these animals when i think of um a zoo and seeing an animal there i'm thinking it's an enclosed it's in an enclosure you're not really having direct interactions with it i know that you know some zoos do different things but just going to you know, broad that out and make that my, my how I'm, I'm going off of here. Otters. Otters are my favorite animal. Got that on standby. So since it's my favorite animal, obviously that's a beelining for. Um, need to see it. Want to see it as quickly as I can. These guys are just so cute. Um, I think the first arm tat, because got, I've got a couple tattoos on me right now, but first arm tat... I want to get on my forearm is a little otter, otter floating down a river. That's a beelining for. Cheetahs. Again, it's a need to see. It's a staple. It's an icon. you got to see it, but you're not getting it at its best. Um, I don't even know if you're really, like, at a, tr at a zoo, are you truly going to see this thing running at top speed, which is the most interesting thing about it? Probably not. 
Uh, so we're, we're, we're just going to put that in a need to see. I want to say this is an alligator and not a crocodile, but since I don't see either, like I don't see, I don't, since I'm assuming this is an alligator, but I don't see a croc. Let's just lump them together because for the most part, I mean, they're the same. Like there's, their similarities are like pretty strong. Um, although there is only like one place I think in the world where they coexist and that's the Everglades, but other, but so they are distinct enough. I think one maybe. God, I don't really know. I think maybe crocodiles are for more hot environments. Like, I don't know. Like, you see them in... You know what? I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Anyways, I'm just going to... Alligators and crocodiles. I'm going to put in a don't care to see. Um, I mean, again, like... look, And this would go for a lot of these. If they're doing some show where the, the, the appeal for them is, is increased, maybe. But, like, I used to live in an area... Where we we would there would just be you would see a big ass crocodile like on my walk from the school bus to my house and you would have to go a different direction like I, I've seen these things relatively up close in person already um, not to the degree of these ones where it's like I, okay I got it there's there's a, there was a fear factor when I saw these things not quite with the others um, but it's just like I've seen the shows I've seen, they're, they're represented overly and I know some of these are as well but like I don't know. Plus, having seen it in person, plus, like, what is it really going to be doing? I'm just going to put in a don't care to see. A hyena. I think this would be cool to see. This, I'm not I'm not going out of my way in any way to see this one. Um, I would stand at its enclosure for a while. Maybe it could, you know, time-wise, maybe it would belong up here. But I think overall, so I'm just staying at the enclosure to see if I could hear the laugh. Can I hear the laugh? No? Then we don't care. Ostriches. I feel like... I kind of feel like this would be just a cool to see, like, I don't know, ultimately it's like, okay, big ass bird, maybe I could see it do some crazy things with its head, um, maybe see it run around a bit, but again, like the cheetah, you're going to see it at top speed in a, in a zoo enclosure, probably not, so we're just going to put it in a cool to see. Pandas, do pandas reach the bee lining for a category for me? I'm going to say ultimately not, I'm still going to put them in a need to see because of how, um, the star power of a panda. I mean, Kung Fu Panda 4, has it come out yet as of recording this? If Either it hasn't or it just did. But either way, um, star power of the panda is going to make it a need to see. But ultimately, they probably don't do much. They're not going to do much for you to visually see um, at a zoo. A moose? So they're obviously different from deer, but I, I just... And they're not in this area, but I think ultimately... I know they're way fucking bigger, but like ultimately it's like... What's interesting about seeing it at a zoo? Probably not much. Lemurs? If it wasn't for King Julian, maybe this would be a don't care to see, but you know what? There's there's some there's some attachment to lemurs on my part from that, so we're going to put it in a cool to see. See, I don't know what type of lizard this is specifically, and let's see, do we have any other general... Komodo, a Komodo dragon does not isn't going to count here. I know it's a lizard, but it's not going to count for what I'm about to say. Okay, so we'll just do lizards as a whole, minus Komodo dragon, and I'm going to put it at a don't care to see. Again, it's like it's in a special type of enclosure with the lights and stuff, and it's probably not doing much. Maybe it's eating some, but it, it's just like, mm. and then you're like, okay. You, you just kind of walk around, see the different colors that they can be, and move on. Pretty much the same thing with parrots. Um, I'm going to put in... See, I almost want to. I know I made the, the the thing about hey, I'm mostly thinking about these as, as like closed off enclosures that you can't interact with. But I I think birds are pretty consistently in zoos. They're kind of they kind of have their own thing with those bird enclosures that you you, you kind of walk in specially and then they're just flying about. Uh, at least that's my experience with them. So I'm gonna put them in a cool to see. But I ain't gonna lie, I've only really been in one of those once. I think. Um, and I ain't gonna lie, I was uncomfortable. I was a kid, bird flew right by my head, freaked me the fuck out. Cool to see a bird shit on me one time when I was a kid as well. Different experience. We gonna put them there. Uh, cause also parrots, it just feels like it's more of a pet thing. Like it reaches the pet territory of like, okay, cool, you got a little parrot, you can make it say some things. That's kind of cool. Okay, I guess this is zoos slash aquarium. We got orca whales. These would probably be a need to see for me. 
See, I do live. I, I live. I live right by a Sea World. Um, are they doing inhumane things to these guys? I guess I don't really keep up. But um, we'll just put it in a need to see. Uh, but it's like okay, you see it splash around, jump through some hoops. Okay, I, I don't know. That shit doesn't excite me overly. Tigers, again, big cats are going to be going to this category of like, hey, y- you need to show them respect because they are like zoo sellers. Like these are what zoos kind of kind of been built upon their backs. Being able to see them, um, but again. When you when you're getting just the lesser version of what this animal truly can be, it's like meh. Like seeing seeing monkeys monkeying around, like you're you're gonna get to see that in a zoo. Platypus, you're like, when the fuck else am I seeing a platypus? Um, the only platypus you 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 even really see coverage of is is a animated blue one, so not even in its true form. You get p- proper coverage of these animals as those animals in other media, and then and then otters, my favorite animal, cute little floating buddies. Other than that, like like these, you're not really seeing what they can do. Bald eagle. The American in me feels obligated to put this in beelining for, but I think ultimately I'm going to put it in a need to see because of the American in me. And then I feel like the shows you could get from a bald eagle, they're just going to be more visually entertaining at a distance than like a parrot's one. Flamingos? Would be cool to see. I would like to see some flamingos, but that is, again, just like a... Oh, yeah. They do be standing like that. Anyways, uh, went to the Salvation Army thrifting, got myself a lawn flamingo. Uh, antelope. I guess I have to put it in the same category as water buffalo, just because I, the same thing of like, hey, here's cannon fodder. This one is cannon fodder to the extreme. Hell, maybe when I said water buffalo, I talked about cheetahs. I think I was just thinking about lions. This is the cannon fodder. Is that an antelope? Is that a gazelle? I don't know animals. Um, but yeah, whatever. We're just going to put it there. A gorilla? Are you kidding me? A fucking steroided up version of monkeys? We've And like some of the best zoo videos that you see online are from gorillas. Like you, I'm beelining for gorillas. It's like, this is what we are. Like our parallel in the animal kingdom. This is like what we desire to be parallel in the animal kingdom. Gorilla, gorilla, gorilla. An anteater. A void. What am I going to just watch him eat ants? I'm good off that. Giraffes. Let's put him in need to see. I don't know. Just weird shit with their tongues. Long necks. Dolphins. See, these aquatic things get interesting. Of just like, how much enjoyment do I really get from this? Because like, this isn't a, like I said, some of these I've referenced shows, but that's, I don't know. I'll put dolphins in need to see. I mean, they're the top dogs in terms of like public per- perception and opinion of in the water world here. So we'll put them in need to see. Uh, this looks like a tortoise, not a turtle. We're going to put them in a void. They're cool. Again, this is like entering the pet category where it's like what makes them cool and interesting would be like if you owned them and like you just got to have one with you all the time. That would be cool. But like this is just a different vibe. Is that an alpaca or a shlama? I don't know. Uh, we'll just, I think regardless, it'd probably be cool to see. Um, I don't know. It would just be cool to see. And then I think this is a seal, a little baby seal. Um, cool to see as well. Is it, Which one is this one? Uh, that must be like, that, that must be a jaguar. I guess that's, I think this is like a lynx. Black Panther, obviously. Mountain Lion. Okay, I think I got the cats down. Let's just go through the cats. Uh, a bobcat? <sighs> Anytime I've gone to the zoo, they're just chilling, which is cool. It's like, yo, relatable. But in terms of visually seeing, I'm just going to put them in cool to see. I'll put them in cool to see ultimately. And I'm going to put this Lynx in here as well. The, I mean, they're just, I mean, they're chilling. And it's, it, there's a point of like, okay, cool, and and it's like these are just like the lesser lesser versions of like, like lion, cheetah, tiger. Those are like the big three for the big cats, and then these are like this just the little brothers to them. So we're gonna put them there. Mountain lion's gonna go up there as well. Black panther though, I think he gets put up into need to see. Like he's sure he's not big three level as those other ones, but I just think ultimately like. 
he got that shit on. Like he, he's right. He, his fur, like just a nice clean black, you know, silhouette. He got that shit. I'm gonna put him in need to see. Um, a boar. I, I, I just in a zoo like that's something you hunt, ain't it? That's something that like hey. It's fucking up the farms. We gonna stake out and shoot them, type B. I, I just ultimately don't think I can. I care enough for boars. I'm gonna put them in a void. Kangaroos, I'm probably beelining for. Kangaroo Jack. I mean, I just show me the kangaroo, man. Um, let me box it. Ultimately, let me let, like I you know I've been, I've seen some videos. I think I could take a kangaroo. That one kick and I'm fucked. Koalas, I think koalas, I think they're just going to be in the cool to see. Walk past, go, hey, there's a koala. Is he doing anything? No. If this, if I was tierless in animals, I would be. Fucking, that's an S tier, but, I mean, I just think for this category, we got to put them in cool to see. Komodo dragon. You would think they'd be cool from the hype that they get, but if you've seen one in a zoo, you realize... It's just kind of boring. He's just kind of he's just kind of standing there. At least my experiences with him, I'm gonna put him in. Don't care to see otters. These are some cool. I'll put him in cool to see. They got some cool shows. I mean, this is definitely one of the more showier ones. Um, but I don't. I just when I'm at a zoo or aquarium or anything, I don't care to really be sitting down watching a show. Usually, I like I like walking around, seeing the different enclosures, and then maybe seeing some things that they can do more organically but we'll still put them in cool to see wolf i would say don't care to see honestly because it's just like their culture and dogs culture how different is it really i mean obviously they're doing some more dangerous things but you're getting you're not gonna see that so you're just seeing big ass dogs ultimately i don't think i've even been to a zoo where they just have wolves manatee probably cool to see i mean I don't know. These aquatic stuff, it's just, it, they get a, it's easier for them to avoid these bottom tiers because it's like, well, I'm not going to just walk out and see these. Not that I'm walking out and seeing these necessarily, but I don't know. Just seeing them float around, it's like, oh, that's cool to see. Anyways, pigs, you're ultimately going to go and avoid because I just don't see you as a zoo animal. You're a farm animal. You have a, there's just a different vibe, different experience. Um, if this was tier ranking animals in general, they'd be higher. A lot of these would be, you know, the disorder would be way different. But this is as experiencing in a zoo, for the most part, I think. Walrus. Again, cool to see. Like, nice teeth. Like, nice to see the guy we'd be ripping off when we'd be, like, shoving straws in our mouth and doing a fake little walrus thing. Um, Opakai? What the fuck is this thing called? Um, Ultimately cool to see. It's just, like, zebra-giraffe hybrid. And I don't, I don't think that's what they actually are. But I'm just saying, like... Zebra giraffe hybrid. Cool, I guess. Red panda. I don't know if I've really seen a red panda, so I think I would have to put that in a need to see. Again, I don't think it's doing anything as interesting as these top ones or, you know, just as unique to see as a platypus. Uh, is it? No, it's fight. It's honestly, it's fighting for beelining because I, I haven't really seen one, so it would be very cool to see. Um, but I think ultimately I'm going to leave it down in need to see. Uh, is it just a, a pelican? I, I've seen Finding Nemo. Like I've I've been to I've been to beaches and more coastliney areas. I've just seen this bird. Zebras, I feel like they kind of reached staple status. Uh, Marty from Madagascar probably helped a lot. Um, oh fuck that one movie with the zebras, the racing horse. And I think the fly could talk. Striped, I want to say, um, but that has done a lot to help it. Stripes, I want to say, is the movie name. That is, <laughs> no, 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 no. Stripes, movie Zebra. No, it is Stripes. Okay, it just had a different one pop up. Yeah, oh my God, bro. If y'all know about this, if y'all know about this... Anyways, zebra need to see. Oh, fuck. I missed the chimps. I missed the chimps when I scanned for monkeys. 
Uh, but yeah, that's that's beelining. Obviously, let's just go ahead and group. Let's just group. Let's just group all of our prime apes together. Uh, Meerkat. I feel like it would be cool to see. There's a lot of memes, a lot of jokes around him, but ultimately you're like, meh. Okay, I want to say this this baby this is a baby rhino, so just representing all of rhinos. I actually am going to put this in beelining, and I know it, it it probably should be in the same category as elephant, elephant especially, but elephant hippo probably should be. But when I was a kid. That was always just the one I wanted to see. I was like, rhinos are they're fucking cool. Horn in the head, terrifying beast. So I get there's like a logic inconsistency here with the rhino being up there and some of the others not. It's purely just from when I was a kid, what I wanted to see, and that's holding over. So yeah, uh, keeping rhino at beelining. I can't tell what this is. It cuts off. Is this another rhino type? We'll just put this at uh, we'll put this at cool to see just because I am not entirely sure what this is. Armadillo going in a void. I live in Texas. I've seen these motherfuckers. I've seen I've definitely seen dead motherfuckers of these on the street. Unfortunately, grizzly bear need to see because big ass bear. I mean that's it. I mean it's the same as these other ones where it's like. One of the more iconic animals, they're a staple, but they're nerfed. They're just going to ultimately go and need to see. All right, that is my tier list here. Normally, I rank the top tier just to give you an idea of what my like what it is. So I'm going to put uh, otters are my favorite animal. They're going to go there. I think chimps would actually be next because they're just like, I think they're the most us that there is. And then it would be gorillas. And then it would be a platypus. Then I think it would be orangutans. Then the kangaroo, then rhinos, then this final munchie. Kim, Kim, I almost said kombucha monkey. Capuchin monkey. Is that what this is? Who knows? Anyways, uh, yeah, that's going to be my tier list. This is me talking about animals. I've been talking about these animals for way too long. But um, um, I'm trying to think of anything egregious I need to defend. I don't know. I think if you if you just keep in mind that this is about seeing in a zoo... And not ranking them as an animal, I think I think we'd be on the same page here, or at the very least, you should understand my reasonings. But that's gonna do it for this video. Tell me what you agreed with most, what you disagreed with most. Go ahead and like this video if you made it this far, and subscribe because I got a lot of more content coming. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and as always, keep gaming.